Extended harmonies are the hallmark of jazz. They can take something that sounds like this, and make it sound more colorful, like maybe this. Or maybe like this. Uh, um. So you can hear that we're adding complexity to the harmony of the chords. Well, how do we do that theoretically? You should have a sheet that looks like this. These are the diatonic seventh chords in the key of C major. This says C major seven, D minor seven, E minor seven, F major seven, it's a little tough to see with the glare I have, G seven, A minor seven, and B minor seven flat five. These are the note stacks. You should know how to spell these after having gone through the seventh chord series. We're going to discuss extensions, and then we can discuss alterations. What is an extension? If you'll remember, the way that we build seventh chords is by going to the first, third, fifth, and seventh note of some major scale, whatever the root of the chord is, and that's how we get a seventh chord harmony. More specifically, it's how we get a major seventh harmony. And then we start affecting those degrees, lowering the third, lowering the seventh, raising the fifth, lowering the fifth, and that creates different harmonies, right? These different combinations, those six different combinations that we discussed in the seventh chord videos. Extensions go past the octave. So you'll notice on this C, E, G, B chord, the highest sounding note of this chord is B. If we made it all the way to this C, we'd be back at the octave, right? But if we keep going up using uh, tertiary harmony, tertian harmony, if we keep going up using that harmony of thirds, the next note that we would put in here would be a D. Oh, I better use a different color for that. I want to make these extensions stand out. Okay, I don't know if that looks different on your video, actually. And then if we kept going, we'd have an F. And we keep going, we have an A. Now, if you look at what we have here, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven notes. How many notes are there in the major scale? If you said seven, you're absolutely right. This chord has every note in the major scale, but because it's arranged in that harmony of thirds, it sounds like a chord. So we're literally just playing all of the notes in the C major scale. Okay? If we come to the D and do the same thing, adding on thirds all the way up. Okay? Again, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We end up with all of the notes in the C major scale. And why do we stop there? Why do we stop at that B? Well, our next note would be a D, and this whole thing would start over again. Why did we stop here at this A? Well, going up in thirds, the third of A would be C, so it just starts over again. So we're arranging all of these notes, and then we have to stop because the pattern starts over again. Okay, so go ahead and stack up all of these, and then we'll analyze what's there. Okay, you keep stacking it up and I'll be right back.